Here we are on the balcony of the physics department at the university, and I'd like to explain to you how this small chamber works. This is the module which our final year students uh, designed. It's basically a, a, a perspex window frame. You might have perspex uh, around the edge of this uh, rectangle with uh, hollow inside with aluminium plates glued to each side. And this is the basic module which uh, comprises this function. We have uh, instrument on planet Earth, these primary cosmic rays, very high energy particles produced by exploding stars, by so-called supernovae. These high energy particles hit the uh, nuclei in the upper atmosphere, miles above us, 10, 20 miles above our heads, produce a shower of particles, and these showers of particles decay, are what um, impinges on us on the, the surface of planet Earth are muons, charged particles called muons. When the charged particle passes through, say following my finger, it will leave a trail of ionization along the direction of my finger in the metal plate, in the gas in the middle, in the metal plate at the bottom, and then ionization as it passes down. At the moment it passes through the, the uh, module, we apply a high voltage, say 5,000 volts on top, 0 volts at the bottom, and a spark occurs exactly where that ionization is. So the, the spark jumping between these metal plates tells us precisely where the particle went. That's the basic module. How does the spark chamber work? The spark chamber is a set of 16 of these modules. If I take off the, the uh, cover here, this Faraday cage that uh, prevents um, electromagnetic disturbance in the environment. We have now a set of 16 modules. Again, the charged particle comes in, passes through the whole set of chambers, leaving the trail of ionization. And we apply a high voltage, and then we have a set of sparks, spark, 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 following the direction of the charged particle itself. So this is the basic spark chamber itself.